So as you guys probably know, we get a lot of trash, straight up cash grab games on the Roblox platform. And usually I don't like trash talking Roblox games. I like to stay constructive because I know a lot of these Roblox games take a lot of effort to make. But some Roblox games are just so obvious they're going to be trash. It's honestly nasty to see them even be created. And this new game by a YouTuber named Axior called Fruit Warriors is the prime example of this. And for those that could not tell this game was trash, I just need to show y'all how it was so obvious this game was going to be trash. So let's look at Exhibit A. And Exhibit A is really just the screenshot from the discord when the game was originally being announced so i don't know if it's originally being announced here but it's it's being talked about the release date they're basically saying the release date is going to be in april in this screenshot but that's not the least of the worries because obviously it did release in march so they pushed it a month early so you already know the quality lacking because of that but what y'all really got to pay attention to is i said our game may not really be as high quality as boxers but it'll be a lot of fun to play guys first of all i don't know what they define as fun because they probably got a different definition than us but that's not even the main issue i have with this like like, I know Axior is a Bloxroots YouTuber, but why are we meat munching Bloxroots when you're releasing a direct competitor? What kind of marketing is this? And then they hit us with the fun to play. I know that got all the 12 year olds on their iPads. They were like, oh my god, fun to play. They would never lie to us, surely, right? And then we got the developers saying they put their heart and soul into this game. And honestly, I would not like to doubt how much effort they put in this game. But when you consider that they also said they've only been working on this game for two months? Like, guys, two months is not your heart and soul chill out like you've been living for like 20 years i mean i understand like you probably put a lot of effort in the time but bro you just made the basic bare bones bandit beater simulator roblox one piece game and then you're gonna expect us to believe you put your heart and soul in the game really even if you are a first time developer like the game was clearly made just to scam little kids out of their robux and honestly i'm not that mad at that because if the little kids actually enjoy the game and they're gonna play it, okay and then we'll spend robux that's their choice right but i don't know why you're not just saying okay this is our first game it's not gonna be that great we're gonna work on it though and try to make the game better and better like we've already meet munching block troops and saying it's not that good of a game quality wise so why are we not just being fully transparent at that point but I am getting a little off topic because I mainly want to make this video about how you could tell a game is trash, not why this game specifically is trash. So let's look at Exhibit B, which is Axior, the owner's YouTube channel. As y'all could tell from Axior's Discord messages, he seems to like his own game as much as he likes Rel C's, which is no thanks, Rel Games. He doesn't like Rel C's, okay? I mean, for good reason, though, to be fair, his game clears Rel C's. But looking at the man's own YouTube channel, he's not made a video about the game, promoting the game, or even talking about the game since the trailer. So it almost feels like he's forced to do this, like bros held at gunpoint. But what I'm trying to say, if the owner of their own game does not want to promote their own game, then you could not expect the game to be good, guys. Like, look at the owner of Holy Warrior X, who was a YouTuber before he started making the game. And look, he made his whole channel about the game, which, good reason too, if the game looks amazing. But if someone's proud of their own game when they're putting hours in, that's the type of energy you're probably going to get. But to be fair, he might still make a video on the game. The game just came out but i don't know i would expect him to have one on release if he really you know expects the game to do something but now let's look at exhibit c which was the trailer and honestly just by the chair trailer alone you didn't have to look at a discord you could tell the game was going to be very basic first of all the trailer is only one minute and they spent 45 seconds just running around and showing the map which honestly the map does look pretty decent so i'm not going to get mad at them for trying to show off the map but if you're only showing off the map for most of the trailer you probably don't have that much gameplay but what y'all really got to look at is throughout the whole trailer they're promoting the yoru and the boat the coffin boat and they ended up being game passes which is mad obvious from watching the trailer because bandit beaters love selling the yoru for robux i know they love it they get hella they make bands off of that the only actual gameplay they showed in this trailer was them fighting the yeti boss with the yoru blade and honestly i made the same mistake before with pixel piece so i'm not gonna make it again but at least the pixel piece boss actually looked really good to me but this boss just looks straight up underwhelming and this is supposed to be like the best boss because they're showing in the trailer so uh, you can just imagine what the other bosses look like but now let's look at exhibit d which is the game is a one piece game and if you don't see anything that's clearly different or them clearly showing interesting game mechanics that you don't see in every other one piece game just assume it's going to be a bandit beater and a boring one piece game like most one piece games that release but overall this is definitely one of the one piece games of all time and i would put it on the same level as project new world which is really innovative guys they probably put their heart and soul in project new world too but on a serious note anyone with a brain really isn't going to play this game so i don't really think it's that big a deal and a lot of kids are probably going to have fun on this game still somehow but if you do release the rush game like this just for robux i do think we should be allowed to clown on you and i mean you're still gonna make that bag so i wouldn't really care if i was dumb i mean but these cash grabbing games on roblox are nothing new but i just want to make this video to kind of clown on the game and give you guys some of the obvious signs that you guys should look for so you don't get unrealistic expectations for some of these games but if y'all made it this far y'all probably enjoy my content so i'd appreciate it if y'all subscribe thank you